Let's solve this differential equation. y double prime plus 4y equals sine x. Now, we have a function on the right hand side, right? It's not a zero, so sine x. But to start off, we're going to have to work with the homogeneous part first, where we're simply going to put it equal to zero and ignore the right hand side. y double prime plus 4y equals zero. For that, we're going to write up the characteristic equation, r squared plus 4 equals 0. Make sure you don't accidentally put an r here just because there's a y over there. Sometimes it happens. Now, the roots of this one, r squared equals negative 4, and that's going to give us two roots, r1 and 2 equals plus minus 2i, imaginary complex number. Now, to write up the solution for these two, simply we're going to follow multiple complex roots. This is the layout we can find in any textbook. Pretty much a formula given for us. We can plug it in and follow it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to plug it in. And let's see what we have. R1, the first root is 2i. So that's going to give us y1 equals e alpha x cosine beta x the alpha is the real part we don't have one so e to the zero will be uh, one and all we have is cosine beta beta is two so cosine two x now for the conjugate all we're gonna do is change this e to the alpha x to sine beta x now the two will be the beta and the alpha no real part so it will be gone. The negative is why we're using the sine instead of the cosine. Now, all we have left, sine 2x. So yh, our homogeneous solution, the c1 times y1 cosine 2x right here, plus c2 times sine 2x right here. Now, next step, the particular solution. Now, when we have on the right hand side some kind of function that's a nice polynomial e to some power or sine cosine something then it is good to use the undetermined coefficient now that's what the method we're gonna use now since we have sine x we're gonna assume to the, for the right hand side a function of y equals a times cosine x plus b times sine x okay now gonna go ahead and take some derivatives since our equation here goes up to the second power so we're gonna take two derivatives so we can have y to the second power so y y to the first y to the second power now that we have these three we're gonna come back to our original equation and plug these in so for y double prime we're gonna plug this guy in it comes right here plus 4 y right here my y the one that we assumed equals sine x sine x now let's uh, work on it and clean it up we're gonna open up the parentheses multiply multiply stuff out then we're gonna find like terms and combine them we're going to factor out the cosine from this one and this one. And that's all we have in front of it. Then the same thing. We're going to factor out the sine from here and from here. This is what's left in front of it. On the right hand side we're not doing anything. And now we're going to compare. We're going to compare the left hand side of the equation to the right hand side, right -hand side of the equation. Now. We have a cosine term, we have a sine term. Here we have a sine term and no cosine term. So what's in front of the sine? A 1. So what's in front of the sine here? This parentheses. So we're going to take this equal to the 1 that's in front here. Here in front of the cosine we have this. So we're going to write it down. What's in front of the cosine here? A big 0. That's why we don't see it. So it's equal to zero right there. Now clean this up and we can find 
our a is 0, b is 1 third. And now to find our yp, all we did is take our two numbers that we found here and plug them in right here into our y that we assumed at the beginning when we started our uh, undetermined coefficient process, right? Our a is 0, plug it in, there you go, our cosine is dead, it cancelled out, our b is 1 third, so plug it in. And that gives us our y particular of one third sine x. And now to finish up the problem, our solution will be yh plus the yp, right? These two together. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our yh, what we found up there, and plug it in, and the yp, what we found right here, plug it in. Make sure you don't forget the constants, right? C1 times y1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x plus our particular right here, one third sine of x. Make sure you like the video so other people can find it as well and thank you for watching.